Howdy, Irish Patriots. Hey, this is Dana Mills here in Ergo, Oregon. Uh, hope you guys are having a good day. The uh, sun's finally peeking up uh, behind the clouds over here on the southern Oregon coast, the Coquille Valley. Had a couple little jobs to look at down in Bandon today in North Bank, and then one out Rose Road. Got that done, but I uh, got to jump on the tractor and do some work up on the hill. Hey, I, I want to thank everybody that supported us going up to Prineville. Again, it was a good trip. Uh, great parade that we entered a, a little float in. Uh, Tyrell Cooper lives up there, and is a, he's a member and is part of the um, uh, the district up there, and he's doing a really good job. So, of course, Stacy and I, Tyrell, Jenny Merrihue, our, our best buddy, came up from here in Coos County. Uh, Keith Janish uh, came over from around Junction City and Michael Carlson uh, to help out, and it was just a good time. Crook County's, you know, kind of in a, a, a state of emergency over there, uh, being attacked by... Uh, people that want to turn the Ochico National Forest Lemon Gulch area into nothing but bike trails and and horse 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 trails and stuff, and it's it's going to destroy it. Tyrell took me for a tour up in that area, and uh, it, it's pretty pristine. It's a different type of beautiful with the Ponderosas up there, super steep hills, and I wouldn't ride a doggone quad down it, let alone a you know a horse or. Uh, freaking uh, mountain bike for gosh sakes but uh, just worried about it uh, trash trash in one spot there's a um, the horse riders association or something like that has an old barn up there and when we pulled up there's garbage all over the place I uh, try to set a fire inside the barn and that's kind of like the future of uh, situations like that and we got to battle against it we also stopped by the Rock Creek fish hatchery there um, on the North Umqua that they successfully, the commissioners, Tim Freeman and Tom Crest and the rest of them uh, got it. So they actually got to release the 70,000 smolt, which is good. But took some pictures from the top that I'll, I'll try to post here. Uh, but we couldn't get in because it's said close to the public. Well, last time I checked, the public owns it, and I, I is the public. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. But, uh, you know, driving on the highways and byways over there in Central Oregon, you know, I had a lot of thinking um, about what we can do to try to improve uh, Henri, um and, and our purpose. Um, of course, our purpose is to fight and defend, uh, you know, all the natural resource industries here in the state of Oregon. You know, farming, fishing, logging, ranching, mining, uh, and all the small businesses that are affected by the lack of those industries uh, being successful. So, kind of came up with a couple ideas. You know, first and foremost, I'd like you all to start doing some a day in the life uh, when you work, if you work in those industries, uh, and even if you don't work in the industries, kind of let let us know what's going on. Three or four minute videos, little short little snippets uh, of your day. You know, getting up at one o'clock in the morning firing up the log truck, getting some breakfast and some coffee in you, maybe a couple shots on the landings. And, and that applies to not just the truck drivers, but the yarder operators and all the guys that are over the hill, the rigging slingers, uh, the, all the shovel operators and processing operators and all that. You know, please do that. If you're in the fishing industry, let us know what's going on. You know, when you're loading up with ice, when you're filling that boat up full of, you know, $7 a gallon diesel, um, and getting your bait, you know, high prices on bait, high prices on rope and all the equipment you need to feed the county, uh, feed the state and feed the nation. And they're doing everything they can to make it more expensive and hard for us because they want to shut us down. But where's your freaking kale going to come from? You know what I mean? It's going to come from a farmer and you're trying to put them out of business. So you better get used to eating concrete and, and, and tree bark and stuff there in the cities that you're humping because that's all you're going to have left if you don't start supporting us and making some reasonable uh, decisions on how we're going to sustain ourselves. Basic needs, food and water. I'm a water guy. Better not tick me off because you might not have any water. Who knows if the prices keep on going up. Another thing I like to do too is <clears throat> we're going to get a <clears throat> pardon me, frog in my throat. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of advisors uh, to set up and do some like town hall meetings, a multi-part series uh, on like the process of logging, you know, what it takes uh, from the, the bidding process uh, to the type of machinery that's going to be required for those logging sites because it's all different. You got yarders, you got yoders, you got shovels, you got all kinds of stuff that you can use and everything has to be specific to the sides that you're working on and the road builders, you know, and how much you can afford. Do you make an investment in a piece of machinery that costs you half a million dollars uh, to maybe make two or 3% profits on this side? Uh, the bidding process is gonna be really crucial because of the environmental restrictions that we have. 
Uh, so we'll do kind of a, a several part series on that. Um, you could check me out. Sometimes I get over the top and I just want to let her fly. And I set up a site. It was for me originally, but I changed the name to all caps O N R I Dana. So it's Henri Dana on on YouTube. Uh, check it out. I'll start doing some more up there, and we're going to get a Rumble site set up as well. And if you want to post longer videos on that O N R I, all again all caps um, on the O N R I Dana. Um, go ahead and do that for sure. Uh, this this weekend, uh, please be safe, folks. Uh, don't drink and drive. Get a DD. Uh, we got a lot of people coming into Coos County, despite the fuel prices. They're coming over here in droves, and God bless you for, you know, leaving a couple bucks behind here in our in our little counties, and in our small towns on the coast. And uh, just respect our area, respect Mother Nature. Uh, if you pack it in, pack it out. You know, don't leave a bunch of garbage. We got enough of that from the homeless folks in Coos County, and. Maybe it's not their fault, but um, it's the state's fault for not helping them out. That's for damn sure. Hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend. Again, happy 4th of July. That flag behind me is the only reason why I fight. And it's uh, between the flag and Jesus and my kids and my wife and, my, and all my family and my community that I'm here doing everything I can, spending a lot of time and a lot of my own money gladly to try to fight and defend our natural resources. And I'll always do that. I'll continue to do it. Last little snippet, I'm going, going a little long here. Uh, August 20th at the Coquille Community Center, we're gonna, we're gonna have the small room for the initial board meeting and, and the members uh, the members only meeting. Um, and then we're hoping to put a cornhole tournament on at the Coquille Community Center. We'll have some food trucks there, a silent auction. We're gonna have a good time. Gotta raise some funds for the disaster relief because we know the fires are coming. And the fishermen are hurting sometimes, and the guys down at Klamath and around the whole area are going to be needing some hay. And that's what Henri does, in addition to fighting and disseminating the bills to try to stop the freaking insanity here in the state of Oregon. We help people 365 days out of the year. We just don't do it during the elections like a lot of organizations do to you, Peck. Uh, we help people literally. We already did that with a logger that was injured, and we'll continue to do that. So come out, support, support us. Uh, get out there, you know, put a bid on some silent auction items. We'll have a bunch of really good stuff from local people around here. And just uh, get the monies, get the monies flowing so we can help to defend our natural resources and help our fellow Oregon natural resource workers when they're in need. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.